Welcome to Health Awareness. Today, we're diving into an exciting breakthrough in HIV treatment that's trending in the medical community. Recently, at the CROI 2024 Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infections, a revolutionary approach to HIV cure research was unveiled. The focus was on potential drugs and treatments that could significantly advance our fight against HIV. Among these, two standout presentations introduced the concept of targeted activation of cell kill, or TEC. So, what exactly is TEC? TET involves locating HIV-infected cells and initiating their self-destruction. This innovative method leverages the virus's own mechanisms to trigger the death of these infected cells, potentially serving as a powerful tool in HIV treatment and working towards a cure by targeting and eliminating the hidden reservoir cells. One of the major challenges in curing HIV has been its ability to hide in a small number of long-lived reservoir cells. These cells remain inactive as long as antiretroviral therapy suppresses the virus. While stem cell transplants have successfully eliminated HIV in a few cases, this method is too risky and costly for widespread use. That's where Tech comes in. By repurposing the virus's own cell-killing machinery, these drugs offer a novel approach to tackling HIV. How do these Tech drugs work? Drugs like efavirenz and rilpivirin, when used in high doses, exhibit a secondary property known as Tech. This prompts the premature self-destruction of cells harboring HIV genes, effectively preventing the production of new viral particles. TET can be used alone or as part of a kick-and-kill strategy to eliminate latent reservoir cells. Unlike treatments that rely on the immune system, TET drugs provide a direct method of killing infected cells. In groundbreaking experiments on mice, TET drugs showed remarkable success in reducing HIV viral loads after just one or two doses, treated mice experienced a significant drop in viral load, with some even reaching undetectable levels. These drugs not only suppress viral replication, but also cause direct cell death of the infected cells. The speed and effectiveness of tech drugs surpass conventional treatments, offering new hope in the battle against HIV. However, there's more work to be done. Further research is crucial to confirm the safety and effectiveness of tech drugs in humans, especially given the cytotoxic effects associated with cell killing. There are also questions about whether tech drugs can adequately target and eliminate quiescent reservoir cells to achieve a lasting reduction in the HIV reservoir. Imagine a drug that not only stops HIV from replicating, but also makes infected cells self-destruct. It sounds like science fiction, but early studies in mice are showing extraordinary results. Viral loads drop dramatically within days, leaving behind a trail of defeated virus particles. Unlike traditional treatments, tech drugs act quickly, delivering a powerful blow to the virus in a matter of days. Even a single dose led to a significant drop in viral loads, hinting at a new era in HIV treatment. Yet, we must proceed with caution. Before tech drugs can be considered a game changer, rigorous testing in human trials is essential. Safety is paramount, especially with drugs that induce cell death. The ultimate test lies ahead, but the potential is undeniable. Stay tuned for updates on this groundbreaking research. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to follow the latest developments as scientists continue to push the boundaries of HIV treatment and work towards a cure. What are your thoughts on tech drugs and their potential in HIV treatment? Share your insights and questions below. For any medical inquiries, feel free to contact us via the link in the description. Thank you for watching Health Awareness and let's keep exploring the future of HIV treatment together.